Hello everyone, Dan here from SurePT. I just thought I'd throw out some videos that I took around my house. Um, captured a couple of small snow events here. Uh, this particular shot is right next to my driveway. That snow has been piled up, I would say, six, seven feet tall. Um, it's not that hard of snow either. This is about two or three snow um, events that occurred. Um, so if you go over and stand on that, you probably go through. So you can see the tires are sinking down. I would say probably a good, I don't know, eight nine inches. <laughs> It's just amazing how you can turn with this thing. So look at—I mean—the bottom's almost rubbing on the bot on the uh, the belly, and I'm still able to flop around. And you could still tell there's quite an angle there yet. <laughs> it's. It's pretty wild that you can just be, my driveway is about, I would say, 250 feet long. And I could just spend an hour on this particular driveway just trying to see what you can do on the angles and how it reacts on the snow. It's a feeling like no other. So here, there's a little bit of an angle. Just look at how close the rim is to almost hitting the ground. So it's pretty radical. Doesn't look like in the outside, but it certainly does in the inside. Don't have a lot of tire pressure in right now. I probably got about 60 or 70 millimeters of mercury somewhere around there. I don't know what that transfers to, probably about one and a half uh, pounds per square inch in the tires. Look at that tire, just completely off the ground. It's just crazy the way that it feels on the inside too. Please let me know if you like these types of videos or not. I will be happy to keep making them. Um, that is if people like them. If they don't, then I will just quit. Quit wasting my time and just have fun playing with the unit. Look at that tire off the ground. It, it's just not even touching. It's just crazy. As you become more and more experienced with a shirt, I mean, you can really be smooth. You just have to be patient. It's not something that's like a four-wheeler or a snowmobile where you just punch it and you hit stuff. You think about where you're going to go. You're very deliberate with it, and you just take your time and just allow the shirt to do the work. Wasn't that cold of a day today? I think it was probably in the upper 20s or so. I wish I would have had this on video because I am just way up in the air and I just missed it just a little bit. Different camera placement would have made a world of difference. So as we're, you know, I'm going on this angle right now, you can pretty much see the tires almost off the ground. So it's a radical angle. I'm actually kind of holding myself with my right arm as I'm sitting in there. This is probably getting a little bit boring to you, but I can. again, I could just keep doing this out there forever. Here's another little storm, just kind of playing more in the backyard right now. 
I wasn't really sure what was going to be happening. Uh, just to the right of that deck, that there's a rock wall that's up, basically straight up, probably about seven or eight feet. There's an eight foot concrete wall just to the right of that. So this is actually fairly radical. <laughs> um, it doesn't look like it is I'm going up it, uh, but that is fairly steep. But it went so easy, I was going to just turn around here and give it another shot, see if I could, uh, <laughs> you know, kind of get the wheel off the ground a little bit. This snowstorm was absolutely perfect. It wasn't windy, it was coming down. Nice, slow, and steady. It was kind of a drier snow, it wasn't really wet, it was just wonderful. So I tried to go up here a little bit more. You can see how it's a little steeper than it was before, but again, it just had no trouble. The darn thing just goes through everything. Now the snow here is, I, I would say, I don't know, probably a foot deep here. Maybe not quite, maybe like eight inches, eight, eight, eight ten inches deep. But it's, you can kind of notice, if you can see all some of the snow coming off the top, and you might even see me tap things on the side, you can go through, well, maybe it's obvious, but as anything that's as wide as the shirt, the challenge is, is if you have to turn when you're in something that's really, really tight, your back tire ends up hitting. Um, it is pretty tight right here where I was driving, but... Again, with time, you start to be able to get used to that and do a lot better. Um, there's a ditch right there where I'm at, and it's probably, again, six, seven foot climb straight up in the air that I just went up there. And the trick is, you can't see it here, but there's trees that are right there, and I have to turn immediately on top of it, and it gets a little tricky. Again, because that back could, end could swing out and you could hit something. Not something that you would really particularly care to do. But you can see there's an angle. I mean, when you're going down like that, you're facing down. Here you can kind of see it, right? Nice type turn, almost hit that tree. Then I turn again just to make sure that I don't hit anything in the back. Coming up back up from the bottom of the ditch and coming on back up to the house. Hope you like it. Uh, if you do, please let me know. Hit the like button. Appreciate the subscriptions. Subscribers, take care. Bye.